Hello everyone, in this video we will be seeing about the pancreas, part of the GI tract. So in pancreas we will be seeing about anatomy and what are the secretions of the pancreas and also the functions of the pancreas and how the pancreatic secretions are regulated. So coming to the pancreas, it is a leaf-like structure. So this pancreas it is a leaf-like structure. So it is present just below the stomach and it is parallel to the stomach. So this is the stomach. So it is parallel to the stomach and it is just beneath the stomach. In this pancreas it has many ducts. So this duct, main duct is the lacting duct. This main duct is called duct of person. And it also has many other ducts through which the SNR cells secretes the secretions into the this duct it it enters the combines with the bile duct so this is the bile duct it combines with the bile duct and it enters into the second part of the duodenum so this continues with the duodenum it also has an accessory duct which opens which splits just before the bile duct joining and it opens again into the two about just two mm above the ampulla of butter. This is the other step called as the ampulla of butter. This ampulla of butter is nothing but the opening of the both the bile and the pancreatic duct combined into the epithelia of the small intestine that is the duodenum. Ampulla of butter. So this is the duct of person. In this Accessory duct, it is called as duct of Santorini. This duct of Santorini opens just to among about the this common opening. And now we have few more ducts. This is the intercalated ducts. So these intercalated ducts collect the secretions from the acinar cells and it drains into the main collecting duct. So this intercollecting duct it is connected to the small cells that are the acinar cells. So, all the acinar cells are connected to the intercollecting duct. And also has few of the eyelets cells. These are the eyelets of the Langerhans. So, these are eyelets of Langerhans. And this, it is the acinar cell. And now coming to the functions of the pancreas. Functions of the pancreas. Functions, the two functions, one is the exocrine function and other is the endocrine function. So which is responsible for the exocrine and the endocrine function? This islets of Langerhans, this is responsible for the endocrine function. Whereas the acinar cells and the ductal cells, the collected duct has the cells. So these are responsible for the endocrine function. What is exocrine and endocrine? This exocrine glands where the secretions are transferred to the target organ through the ducts. Whereas this endocrine gland doesn't have ducts. These are the ductless. And now we see what are the and we also have a sphincter here that is the sphincter of OD. This Pincher of OD it regulates the secretions into the secretions from both the bile, that is the bile secretion and also the pancreatic secretion into the small intestine. So whenever it is needed, when the food comes in, there is a, is a kind. So the secretions are allowed to enter the duodenum. Now coming to the nerve supply. The nerve supply of this it is like both sympathetic and parasympathetic. Sympathetic is through the splenic nerves and this parasympathetic is through the vagus nerve. This parasympathetic it has the preganglionic and the postganglionic fibers. This preganglionic fibers are the uh, it has the ganglion. So this preganglionic fibers synapse with the ganglion in within the so we have some of the ganglionic cells in the pancreas. So preganglionic fibers synapse with the 
ganglion and this postganglionic fibers arise from the ganglion and it reaches the maxillary maxillar cells and also the ductal cells this maxillar cells are responsible for the production of enzymes and proenzymes whereas this ductal cells are mainly held in the synthesis of the bicarbonate this bicarbonate is responsible for the alkalinity of the pancreatic secretion alkaline nature it helps in neutralizing the acids that is produced from the gastric secretion so what are the enzymes that are present in the endocrine glands that is the ductal glands we will see the enzymes the enzymes sorry the hormones the cells different types of cells present in the brain are the beta cells this beta cells produce insulin and alpha cells alpha cells produce glucagon so this beta cells present in the majority of this the 75% in this 20% in this remaining is the alpha this alpha cells beta cells and it also has the delta cells delta cells produce somatostatin and it combines epsilon cells this epsilon cell produce ghrelin and epsilon cells are also present this or it is also known as f cells or pp cells this produces the pancreatic polypeptide so this is about the endocrine function this insulin this insulin is helpful in the regulation of the glucose this it takes glucose from the blood and there are this glucagon it helps in the increasing the blood glucose take of glucose from cells but whereas this increases the blood glucose so whenever there is decrease whenever there is a case of hypoglycemia this glucagon it helps in reducing that is it helps in the degradation of the glucose and it stops the uptake of glucose and it increases the blood glucose level this somatostatin this hormone it is helpful in the not it is helpful in inhibiting the growth hormone and thyroid stimulating hormone and other hormones this ghrelin it is it is the hunger hormone Incoming to this, this pancreatic polypeptide is produced by the F or the PP cells of plant cells. Now we will see about the proenzymes and the enzymatic secretions from the pancreas. So, what are the enzymes that are secreted by the pancreas? The enzymes which are secreted are the enzymes commonly are. pancreatic alpha amylase the pancreatic alpha amylase converts the this is the it in this enzyme it lyses the carbohydrate so this this enzyme it converts the starch into dextrin and then into maltase and next enzyme is the pancreatic lipase this pancreatic lipase it converts it is the lipolytic enzyme this pancreatic lipase it converts the triglycerides into glycerols and fatty acids next enzyme is pancreatic esterase What does this pancreatic esterase do? This pancreatic esterase it converts the cholesterol esters, cholesterol esters to cholesterol. Next enzyme is pancreatic prophospholipids. Prophospholipase. This pancreatic prophospholipase A2 is secreted. This is the inactive form since it contains the pro. This is inactive form, and it gets converted to phospholipase A2 by the action of trypsin. 
so the trip it is one of the proteolytic hormone which is proteolytic enzyme which is present we will be seeing first so this it activates splits the lecithin that is this pancreatic phospholipase a2 this uh, splits the lecithin to lysolysis this lysolysis is will damage the cell walls so the other proteolytic enzymes are we have trypsinogen this is an inactive form that gets converted into trypsin by the action of it is converted into trypsin which is an active form this trypsin further activates the other enzyme it is done by enterokinase so most of the hormones which is secreted in the pancreas are in the inactive form so it doesn't if it is converted to the active form it may damage the cell wall of the pancreas so when it reaches the intestine it gets activated to its active form so here this trypsinogen this trypsinogen it is the most powerful it is also there enterokinase and further the trypsin which is formed again it auto catalyzes it so the auto catalytic action uh, it also it also converts the trypsinogen into trypsin so this trypsin it also converts the it also curdles the milk and it is helpful in the triangulation that is the clotting mechanism Plus, what does this trypsin do? It is uh, this trypsin. It also activates the other hormones which coming further. So this trypsin molecule, it splits the bond in the protein molecule which contains L lysine and and the L lysine. It converts into small amino acids. Sorry, small polypeptides and sometimes even into amino acids. So next. The enzymes are the so next. It is the chymotrypsin. This chymotrypsin, chymotrypsinogen. This chymotrypsinogen gets converted. This is the inactive form which gets converted into chymotrypsin to trypsin. So this digests proteins to small polypeptides. Next, it is the procarboxylase. So, procarboxypeptidase A and B. So, procarboxypeptidase A and B are converted into carboxypeptidase A and B by trypsin and the enterokinase or enterokinase. So, what does this carboxypeptidase do? This carboxypeptidase splits the peptide chain. By removing the amino acid residues from the carbox free carboxyl group, so this is the action of the carboxylase A. Next, it is the ribonuclease. So this it is helpful in this ribonuclease and deoxyribonuclease. These are helpful in the nucleic acid. These nucleic acids are degraded to nucleotides and nucleosides. Nucleotides and nucleosides. Next is the proelastase. This proelastase is converted into elastase by the action of trypsin. So this. Elastase it converts the elastin and some other proteins into simplified, that is indeed either amino acids or small polypeptides. Next, we'll see how this pancreatic enzyme secretion is regulated. So we haven't seen the composition, how the pancreatic juice will be. So now we will be seeing about the pancreatic juice. 
So this pancreatic juice, it is colorless, clear fluid, transparent fluid, which is mostly alkaline. This alkalinate is due to the bicarbonate, which is derived from the dispel cells. And it has a pH of around 8 to 8.8 to 8.6. And also, it contains more of the bicarbonate, so it utilizes the gastric acids from the stomach. So it has a pH specific gravity of around 1.010 to 1.018. So this is the specific gravity, and it is secreted to around 1200 to 1500 milliliter per day. And it is isotonic with a plasma. Now coming to the contents, it nearly contains 98 percent of water and remaining 2 percent is solids. And among the solids, it contains enzymes. So we have already seen the enzymes which is secreted, and the remaining is the electrolytes. So what are these electrolytes? It contains anions and cations. The anions are sodium, calcium, potassium, magnesium, and zinc ions. Whereas this cation contains the bicarbonate in the predominant amount, and followed by chloride and some traces of phosphate and salt. So now we will be seeing about the regulation of the pancreatic secretion. Pancreas juice that is secreted in three phase stages, similar to that of the gastric juice. That is first, it is the cephalic phase. Second is the gastric phase. Third is the intestinal phase. So in the both the phases, everything it is also regulated similar to that of that of the gastric juice. That is either by the humoral, that is through the hormones, or through the nervous regulation. In the cephalic phase, it is mostly the nervous regulation. So it is either by the conditioned reflex or by the unconditioned reflex. This condition reflex is mainly by special senses, where just by the sight, smell, hearing, or even the thought of the food, it activates the special sensory organs, and the afferent carries impulses to the medulla oblongata, where we have the dorsal nucleus of weight, and through afferent, it reaches the Target organ that is the pancreas and the pancreatic juice are secreted. And through the unconditioned, so what is this unconditioned reflex? This unconditioned reflex is an inborn reflex. So here, just the placement of the food in the mouth stimulates the taste buds, and the from the taste bud through the afferent it reaches the dorsal nucleus of the vagus and the medulla oblongata, and again through the afferent. Afferent, it reaches the pan of the vagus. It reaches the pancreas. So here the secretions are stimulated and it is produced. So this it involves the release of dilute ASH, which is the dilute region. Next is the gastric. So this gastric phase mainly by hormones. So that is the gastric. Next is the intestinal phase. This is the third phase where it is mostly hormonal. The hormones which is Involved are mainly two that is secretin and cholecystokinin. That is secretin and cholecystokinin pancreasine. So secretin it is usually synthesized by the S cells of the duodenal and the jejunal mucosa. This cholecystokinin is produced by the I cells of the duodenal and the jejunal mucosa. This secretin is usually produced as the prosecretin. This prosecretin is an inactive form. So it is converted into secretin. This conversion is usually mediated by the acid. So this acid time in the intestine it mediates the conversion of prosecretin to secretin. So next is the cholecystokinin, pancreasinin that is secreted by the I cells and it stimulates the acinar cells. So it releases more of the enzymes. So whereas this Secretin it stimulates the ductal cells. So this ductal cells mostly stimulates the bicarbonate. So in case of acid-rich chyme, so if the chyme that is rich in acid stimulates the secretin. So this secretin it stimulates the bicarbonate. Whereas if the 
kind it is contains most of the products in the carbohydrate metabolism or the protein or through the fat metabolism so it secretes the cholecystokinin tz which in which in turn secretes it in turn stimulates acinacins through which the enzymes for this digestion release so this is about the regulation of pancreas juices so now we will see about the now we will see work, filling the work first we will see the pancreas is an organ having dual function that is the endocrine and exocrine function this endocrine, endocrine function is concerned with the production of the hormones and the exocrine function is concerned with the secretion of the digestive juices called as pancreatic juices next we will see about the part of the pancreas it contains the head this portion is the neck in the body and the tail so it contains many lobules and the, this is the pancreatic duct this is the main duct which is called as duct of wilson and this is the accessory duct this is called as duct of santorini so it just opens bow to ml the common opening so this main duct it combines with the common bile duct and it opens into the duodenal papilla where it is called as the ampulla of water this ampulla of water is it is like controlled by sphincter of od so it regulates the secretions into the duodenum so this it is the second part of the duodenum and the gallbladder where the bile is stored binds with the main pancreas now coming to the cells performing endocrine function cells for performing endocrine function islets of langerhans it contains nearly 1 to 2 millions of islets it consists of four types of cells first is the alpha cells this alpha cells secrete glucagon and the beta cells produce insulin and the delta cells secrete somatostatin and the f are the pt cells or also known as epsilon cells epsilon cells which secretes the pancreatic polypeptide and there is also epsilon cell so this epsilon cells produce the ghrelin which is the hunger hormone the cells performing in the endocrine function are this combine combine the alveolar tissue that is the compound alveolar tissue which contains the secretory acini and also the ductal cells so it contains zymogen granules this zymogen granules are nothing but this coated by the polyp this enzyme this this is the acinars acini which contains the acinar cells so the pex of the acinar cells is concentrated with the zymogen granules the zymogen granules are secreted into the lumen through which it reaches the duct and from the intercalated duct it reaches the main duct and this is the zymogen granules uh, prevent the enzymes is being digested so it is mostly it is made up of a uh, polypeptide so now coming to the duct so the pancreatic juice passes via the intercalated and the excretory duct and the main duct is a duct of the vessel it runs from the head to tail and joins with the common bile duct to form the papilla of water which opens through the duodenal papilla and is guarded by the sphincter of od and next is the accessory duct it is the duct of santorini This is the accessory duct which opens into the duodenum 2 mm higher than that of ampulla of water. Next is the nervous supply. This nervous supply is through the splen splenic nerve. That is the sympathetic supply, whereas the parasympathetic supply is through the vagus nerve. Coming to the arterial supply, it is supplied by the splenic artery and the also by the superior and the inferior pancreatic or duodenal arteries superior and inferior pancreatic or duodenal arteries the venous drainage is through the portal venous system we need pancreatic juice this pancreatic juice is usually the colorless and the transparent juice colorless or the transparent juice is the total volume is around 500 to 800 ml per day the ph is alkaline side that is 8 to 8.3 the specific gravity is 0.1 1.010 to 1.018 and the concentration of the bicarbonate is around 
or it is alpha 1 anti proteins this is the trypsin trypsin is the in the inactive form that is trypsinogen trypsinogen is converted into active form trypsin by presence of enterokinase Enterokinase it is a glycoprotein enzyme of the intestinal juice that with the trypsin at the pH of 5.5 in the presence of calcium ion who oh, acts as an autocatalyst so which converts this trypsin this trypsin itself converts the trypsinogen to trypsin functions of the trypsin are it converts chymotrypsinogen into chymotrypsin chymotrypsinogen to chymotrypsin pro elastase to elastase and pro carboxypeptidase to carboxypeptidase and also the pro amino peptidase to amino peptidase it helps in the digestion of the milk and also in the blood clot it converts the casinogen to casein pancreatic lipase this is the lipolytic enzyme the activity of the pancreatic lipase it is accelerated in the presence of bile the optimum ph required is 7 to 9 that is in the alkaline ph the other two factors which is needed for the digestion of the lipids are first is the bile salts and the other one is colipase the absence of the enzyme causes steatorrhea steatorrhea is nothing but the undigested fat it is excreted through the feces the characteristics of the secretions are the acinar cells are isotonic and also the interlobular duct cells causes increase in the secretion of the potassium and the bicarbonate interlobular duct cells are stimulated by secretin and increases the bicarbonate the main collecting duct is isotonic the respect of the volume of the pancreatic juice secretion hormones stimulating the pancreatic secretion or the secretin in the cholecystokinin pancreas and secretin it stimulates the secretion of the alkaline pancreatic juice and it is secreted by the s cells of the duodenal mucosa and it is activated by thyme in the intestine mainly by the acidity of the thyme next is the cholecystokinin or the cholecystokinin pancreasine it is secreted by the i cells in the duodenal and the jejunal mucosa it is stimulated by the presence of peptides and amino acids and long chain fatty acids in the intestine it helps to decrease increase the bile and also the contraction of the gallbladder so by the contraction of the gallbladder the bile from the gallbladder it reaches the intestine 
it increases the pancreatic juice and the intestinal uh, intestinal and the colonic motility is increased and also it increases the secretion of the insulin and the glycogen the secretion stimulates bile secretion and it is called as cholerectic cholerectic is nothing but whichever the secretes the bile whichever increases the bile secretion is called cholerectic Bile salts are naturally occurring. This is a physiological cholerectic. As then cholin is released released from the parasympathetic vagus nerve, and it stimulates the sinar cells. So this a sinar cell secretes the enzyme. Next it is the secretin. This secretin it amplifies the stimulation of the enzyme and electrolytes pancreatic juice by given dose of the CCK PZ that is the cholecystokinin PZ and this amplifies the secretory response of the pancreas. The so secretin produces as the result of defining the contents of the intestinal lumen. Therefore, each hormone potentiates the action of the other. Both secretin and cholecystokinin pancreas I mean, delay the pancreatic emptying and stimulate the secretion of the succinctricus. Succinctricus is nothing but the secretion of the small intestine. Factors which increase the secretion and the cholecystokinin release are acid in the duodenum, it causes the production of the secretion, and the products in the products of the carbohydrates, fats, and proteins addition in the small intestine causes the cholecystokinin pancreatic release. So next is the regulation of the pancreatic secretion, because this is a phallic phase, mainly nervous. The condition and the unconditioned reflex stimulates the vagus nerve. And through the vagus nerve, the pancreatic secretion is increased. And in the gastric phase, it is mainly the hormone. The, when the bolus reaches the stomach, the gastric secretion is increased and it stimulates the gastric. And this gastric stimulates the secretion of the pancreatic juice. It is followed by the intestinal phase. So when the chyme reaches the intestine, it stimulates two hormones. That is the secretin and next is the cholecystokinin pancreatinin. The secretin, it, it is, increases the secretion which is rich in bicarbonate. And this cholecystokinin increases the secretion, which is rich in enzymes. So it's helpful in the digestion of the products. So this is all about the pancreas and its secretion. Hope it was useful. Happy learning.